Okay, we are attempting 20 ISOs number 10. And first things first, get an idea for the dimensions. I'm going to look at this block and count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 units wide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units deep. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 units tall. All right, so looking at this one, it looks pretty straightforward. Uh, you got a block, and then we're going to take a semicircle and we're going to cut it into the block itself. So it looks like we're going to just be able to make one cut. This one looks pretty easy. So let's go ahead and throw it in one shape and on shape, not one shape. Let's throw it in on shape and let's see what happens. So we're going to go down here, uh, create a new document, and name it 20 ISOs, number 10. Click OK. And then I think the hardest part on this one is going to be making the block. So we're going to click sketch, click on the top view, and we're going to make our rectangle. So move to the top so that we can make freely. Click on the rectangle, move it out. Um, the dimensions were, I think, I may have to change this. Click 9 by 4. And let me double check and make sure that's, I'm sorry, it was 10 by 4. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back up here and I'll finish my sketch and I can change the 9 to a 10. There it goes. So I'm going to, if you uh, double click on the rectangle, I can double click on this 9 and make it, or right, yeah, double click on the 9 and then change that to 10. There we go. It's much easier if you just do it right the first time. And then we're going to extrude, double check, we're going to extrude it up 6. We're going to extrude, click, and we're going to move up 6, and then click the green check mark. Alright, so we have our base, and the base of this block looks good now. And we're going to create a sketch of a circle, and we're going to use that circle to cut into the object. The diameter of this circle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to go back to on shape and we're going to create a sketch. Since it's in the middle, we don't really need to make any reference geometry because this line will automatically have a middle section for you to base your circle off of. So we're going to click the circle and then if you want to. So we're going to click here, and this will give you the diameter. Make sure that you get this green or this this uh, yellow box that occurs halfway. We're going to click here, and we're going to move this out. I see the diameter symbol, so this is telling me that I have a diameter selected. If I want to get it to a radius, I'm not quite sure how to do that in on shape yet, but I will figure it out. Uh, we're going to click this circle, and then we're going to type in our radius, uh, our, our diameter of six. We're going to hit enter. So you should see that you have a diameter that goes all the way across of six units. We're going to finish our sketch. We're going to move to the isometric view. I'm going to click extrude. Make sure that it's set to remove. And you can just click on this bottom semicircle and drag that arrow all the way out. And you're going to cut through this entire surface. Click the green check mark. And there you have it 20 ISOs number 10. Very straightforward, just takes one cut. Um, there it is.